Good afternoon everybody, Simon here, Explosive Action and uh, I am back for the month of February for an update. I haven't done one since January um, and I guess they've all been piling up as you can see here we've got a big mix of DVDs, Blu-rays and VHS of course and um, if we want to get through this I better just smash through them so I'll start with the Blu-rays. Uh, Death Race 3, brand new release. I really loved um, Part 2 even more so than Part 1, the Jason Southern one, but uh, Part 2 had uh, Ving Rhames, Danny Trio, and uh, God, I've forgotten his name. Yeah, oh no, Luke Goss, it's written there, right in front of me. Um, and I think for a direct-to-video film, it's definitely one of the best. Had some money thrown at it. I did a review for Part 2, so go check that out. I'm sure I will review Part 3 sometime soon. Uh, Cyborg, the new um, Umbrella release. I won this as a prize from Umbrella. Very happy about that. Curious to see what the transfer is like. Classic Van Damme. Uh, Death Valley, uh, the new Blu-ray DVD combo of a uh, forgotten slasher that uh, has never been on digital format until this point. It's had uh, numerous VHS releases um, and I even saw a Laserdisc once. But uh, here we are with the first DVD Blu-ray, so good to see that finally out. And check it out again and get rid of my old VHS probably. Uh, the Godfather uh, trilogy. Would you believe I've never seen The Godfather? It's just never happened. And I figured, well, um, Amazon had a gold box sale mm -hmm. where this Blu-ray trilogy was $22 or something. Some insanely cheap price. I had a, the whole thing landed to my door for about 25 Australian. Uh, which is an exceptionally good price, so I will check out The Godfather finally and part two and well I'm told part three isn't that crash hot. Night of the Devils, a uh, new release from Raro. Came out last year but my copy got lost in the post and they very nicely sent me another one uh, which is very cool. Uh, I'm going in here from word of mouth a lot of people telling me this was a classic um, bit of Italian horror so very curious to check it out. Nice Blu-ray and a slipcase. I won't slip it out because it's actually very hard to get that one back in. Night of the Devils. And the last Blu-ray is the new release of Death Ship. Great film, George Kennedy film. Um, I've never had a copy of it. I watched a dodgy download many years ago of the UK DVD, I think. And um, I was always meaning to pick it up. And uh, then I saw that there was a Blu-ray coming, so I held out for that awesome film. On to the DVDs next. All random order. This is brilliant. Danger 5, Australian uh, well, comedy series I guess. Six part series, mini series. Basically uh, it's like Thunderbirds mixed with Tarantino. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. Everyone is dubbed. They speak English but they're dubbed. There's talking puppet dogs. Hitler is in every, in every episode and jumps out of the same window in every episode to escape. You got dinosaurs with swastik. I mean, this was a brilliant series. Danger 5. I absolutely highly recommend anyone that likes um, piss takes on 60s uh, adventure series. Um, basically, it, like Thunderbirds is the best thing to compare this to, but it's live action and it's just insane. Basically, uh, yeah, Hitler is still going in the, in the 60s and well, the Danger 5 team, are just their mission is to kill him. And they try six times. Brilliant stuff. Look for a trailer. Trailers are on YouTube. Uh, wrong Turn 4, Bloody Beginnings. I know Part 5 just came out, but this was cheap. They opened a new JB Hi-Fi right next to my work, so I am doomed, basically. And I picked this up for a tenner, so yep. I am doomed. Not sure if I've shown it before, but I did watch this... Um, last week finally. Uh, horrible, uh, better known as absurd in most places. Um, <laughs> great little uh, film here. It's, it's also called Anthropophagus 2. Um, just, I don't know, really know why, just because it's got George Eastman in it. It's nothing to do with the other one. But um, yeah, it's basically George Eastman escapes from a mental hospital and kills a few people in nasty, nasty ways until they finally catch him. That's it. Great film. Uh, pick this up, three dollars. I couldn't say no. Uh, the Boondocks complete first season, three discs, so it's a dollar a season, a dollar a disc. I mean, 
uh, sitting in the pawn shop, um, well the hock shop, I don't want to say pawn shop because people think I'm talking about an adult shop, but P-A-W-N, but anyway, um, yeah, this I remember seeing on uh, cable TV like five years ago, wanted to check it out again, I think it's the same animators behind uh, the fantastic Black Dynamite series, so check that out again. Uh, the Iceman Cometh, also three dollars. Just another Hong Kong Legends. Don't know much about this one, but I do like the Hong Kong Legends films. Fido, uh, horror comedy, or zombie, really interesting thing. Um, with that's Billy Connolly, there, uh, Scottish comedian. For those that don't know, stand-up comedian, um, playing a, zomb a zombie, and he does a fantastic job in it. I saw this when it came out. I'm um, looking forward to checking it out again. It's like, um, it's not set in the 50s, but you think it is. You know, it's like, uh, yeah, Pleasantville, there you go. Shaun of the Dead crossed with Pleasantville, that is exactly right. Uh, good fun, Fido. No idea what this is, already dead. Um, it just had Til Schwieger, um, who I liked from Inglorious Bastards. And it looked like a bit of a thriller thing, and it was $2, I think, so whatever. As was this, Warbirds, sci-fi channel garbage. I think I know why it was two dollars. See, that's fine. Nothing written on it. That's going to look great on the shelf, isn't it? Doesn't have anything written on it, so I guess it was a misprint. Warbirds. I'm sure it's rubbish. Uh, Blades of Blood um, from the Wu Zing collection, which I know I'm saying completely wrong, um, but I don't know how else to say it. Put out by Icon, that's their version of uh, Hong Kong Legends, basically. So a bit of martial arts fun. Should be good. This was a good bargain for three dollars. Three dollars, two disc, Tear Hunter, embossed slipcase. Really good addition for two bucks. Um, Studio Canal, so you know that the print will be exceptional, as everything they do is. Your commentaries, interviews, all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, couldn't believe this was three dollars, and I've uh, never had a copy. Saw it a very long time ago, but um, yeah, now I finally got a copy, and I really love that cover. The red shines. Awesome, great bargain. Oh, as this, as was this actually, Tales from Earthsea, um, a Studio Ghibli film. I've got uh, one other of theirs, um, Howl's Moving Castle, um, and this. I'll see if I can get it out one-handed. It's kind of hard. Uh, there you go. So it's a slipcase with a cardboard digipack. Folds out like that. Same on the other side. But, um, yeah, I mean, fantastic art. $3. Absolutely amazing. So really happy about that one. Okay. Um, the Dead or Alive box set. Kind of hard to find this. Uh, Takeshi Miike series of three films. I had parts two and three could never find part one. And then I found this at Cash Converters for $12, I think, which I was very, very happy about. So, um, yep, Takeshi Miike, crime action films, awesome. And next one. Ah, yes, Abraham Lincoln vs. Zombies. Whoops, almost dropped it. <laughs> and I have to thank uh, Selma the God for sending me this one. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that our local copy of this was like $26 or something insane for an asylum film and uh, he very very nicely offered to uh, send me a copy for free and um, yeah this is it here so I haven't unshrink wrapped it yet actually um, he said it's a, a bit of good cheesy fun and um, the reviews I read indicated that it was uh, one of asylum's better films so yeah thanks again mate for sending me this I do look forward to checking it out Abraham Lincoln versus Zombies, not to be confused, of course, with Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, Hunter which was uh, an excellent film. Uh, awesome. One-Armed Executioner, the uh, monster release. Always find it hard to find this in the shops, and then I found it at my new local JP near my work. As I said, I'm doomed. i spend all my money. Awesome cover. Love the art on that. Great film. I bought the VHS, I think, in my last update, perhaps. I don't recall. I think I showed my VHS of that. Um, yeah, so now I get to see it in uh, anamorphic widescreen. Awesome stuff. Okay, uh, Dead Kids. Uh, this was $2 from 
Um, a two dollar re-release from Flashback, originally out by Umbrella, I think. Same transfer. They picked up a lot of Umbrella stuff. It's widescreen. It's all good. Eighties, nineteen eighties film. No date on it, but I believe it was an eighties horror. And uh, two dollars retail price. Very happy to pick that up. Finally, the umbrella is deleted. You can't find it. Ah, awesome. I got two DVDs sent to me from um, from Jack Jensen, who runs the uh, When the Vietnam War Raged in the Philippines blog. Uh, he sent me uh, Blast Fighter, which is the AWE release. Kind of hard to find um, if you're not living in in Europe. It does seem pretty hard to find. Uh, Blast Fighter on um, AWE, anamorphic widescreen I think on this one, yep. So I was happy to get that, great art. And finally, Hands of Steel. Brilliant, brilliant film. I had to watch it again yesterday. Fantastic stuff. One of my favourite Daniel Green films. Um, George Eastman again turns up in this as a bad guy. Um, as does uh, John Saxon, very small role. But he's awesome. It's a uh, letterbox, but not anamorphic. It's sort of like 166 to 1. The print is exceptional. Probably the best we're ever going to get. Um, Hands of Steel with some of the best cover art ever put to paper. Brilliant stuff. I'd love a poster of that. Hands of Steel and Blast Fighter. A couple of cheapies from Amazon. Uh, Frank Zagarino's Never Say Die and Miles O'Keefe's Silent Hunter. Not seen either of these yet. But they were like $5 each or 6 or something like that. And I had a, a moment of weakness and just wanted to get a few cheapies from Amazon. A few action staples. Let me know if you've seen either of those. And I picked up um, Zagarino double of Project Shadow Chaser 2 and 3000. Um, I've got part one on a, a crappy DVD. Doesn't seem to have a decent DVD that, but this um, these ones are good transfers I understand. Full screen, probably filmed that way, who knows. It's not like we're ever going to get super editions of films like this. But um, yeah, I'm really happy to get these. They are just on the one disc. That's fine. I think it's dual layer. Should be fine. Put out by image. Awesome. Oh, almost losing the pile. Um, yeah, I picked this up from Utopia in the City. Kind of regretting it. The transfer is abominable. Linda Blair, Savage Island. Yes, it's a rare film, but I think if I found a VHS, it would look far better than this. Probably transferred from like a sixth generation tape. It looks shocking. Um, I'll force my way to watch it at some point, but I don't know when. Really, these Grindhouse DVDs are really bad transfers. They could have done a lot better. Even without full remastering, they just should have looked better. Hydra. I borrowed a friend copy of this ages ago. Good little sci-fi channel film, this one. Um, basically, yeah, it's a Hydra monster. Cut off its neck and two grow in its place. Good fun, Hydra. Uh, Tomy Unlimited, uh, put out by Monster. We keep putting out the good stuff in this country. Um, just like the other Tomy films, what the hell is going on in this? Very confusing Japanese splatter. Um, it ends up like being four of Tomy's running around. The idea of Tomy is that she just can't die. And uh, yeah, it gets very, very confusing. But um, yeah, it's, it's worth a watch. I got it during their $10 sale, so I don't regret that. Sworn to Justice. More Cynthia Rothrock. Haven't seen this yet. But uh, it's Rothrock, it'll be good. Who else has she got in this bad? Oh, Brad Dourif. Awesome. I bet he plays the bad guy. He's never played a good guy in his life. Sworn to Justice. Oh, and there goes the fucking pile. Alright. <laughs> and uh, we got Expect to Die. Uh, Jal, oh, I can't remember saying his name. Jal Murray. Anyway, I'm never going to say that right. And David Bradley. So you just know this is going to be fucking spectacular. I'm going to put this on this afternoon, I think. It looks amazing. Expect to Die. Old release. Um, who put these out? Platinum. Very old release um, in the jewel case style DVD cases with a really cool um, shopping list basically inside of their other releases. I have um, that subterfuge which I showed in the previous update that 
came without this jewel case, which was a shame. Um, there's a few there I'd like to get. I mean, I've got Mars and Good Cop, Bad Cop in other editions. I want that Tiger Claws too. That one I'd want. Alright, um, where are we going? Natural City. I saw this years ago. Uh, Korean sci-fi. I think it was Korean. Pretty sure it was. Um, which was pretty good, I remember. And this was uh, $1.95. Used uh, X rental. Add to the collection. American Kickboxer 2. Uh, this is debatable that it's really the sequel to American Kickboxer 1. I will show you soon what the actual sequel is. Um, yeah, just wanted to pick it up. It was cheap, basically. Uh, who stars in this? Dale Apollo Cook. That's her. Right. Nobody else I recognise. Should be good. Uh, Grave Encounters, X Rental. Um, another of those. Um, what do you call them? The supposed uh, filming ghosts. Kind of, you know, there's a TV show. I can't remember what it's called. Ghost Hunters or something. The actual TV show. Well, they've basically done a, a version of that as a found footage film, sort of Blair Witch style. Uh, they found these tapes from the last episode of the Grave Encounters team. They go to a, uh, a mental hospital there, and of course, you know, shaky doors, bathtubs filled with blood, blah, blah, blah. Not bad, actually. I am a bit of a sucker for these films and the uh, Paranormal Activity films, so if you like those, you'll like that one. Uh, this was sent to me as a freebie from Raro. Uh, young, violent, and dangerous. As an apology for the mail system losing my um, Blu-ray, they sent me, which you know they didn't have to do that, but they did. And uh, Thomas Milan, uh, Million, I mean, yeah, not familiar with the director, not at all. But um, yeah, a bit of Euro crime here, so should be good. I do have a few raros, so that's very nice. And the last DVD is. Lucia Fulci's The Psychic. I think this one's also called, what, Seven Doors or something like that? Seven Notes in Black. Seven Notes in Black, there you go. Uh, this is the Severin release, which is the best quality release. Uh, 16 by 9. Awesome. Haven't seen that one. Okay, I just got to stop this from falling over. Okay, crisis averted. Fix the uh, pile up over there. Back to the tapes. And this is Chance, which is a PM entertainment film. Thoroughly entertaining. Um, now, I don't know if it applies to this Australian release, but the American DVD was apparently uh, censored, and the American VHS was not. I didn't notice anything censored in this, so should all be good. It's a, sort of a spin-off from uh, Repo Jake. It's got uh, Dan Haggerty in it again who strangely works at the same repo place that he does in that film, but he's got a different character's name. I don't know why they did that. Um, but yeah, Vigilante Justice. Good fun. So happy to get this. Ninja Commando. Um, was it CBL, I think? Um, no, not CBL. Who's that other look? Uh, forgotten. Macro, that's it out through macro. Um, yeah, this this is the classic, classic Godfrey Ho, or Robert Ty, who knows, there's one of the two. Um, ninja mashup films, I've got a few of them now, but this is renowned as being the best, the most silliest. Um, again, go for a YouTube on this one, because you'll, you'll find a mashup video that's just got some brilliant stuff in it. Quite hard to get hold of, I was very lucky to get it. It goes under many other names that all have ninja in it. But Ninja Commando is how I knew it. Very happy to pick this one up. And the rest of these tapes were all in a trade from uh, Goonsack Mask. I'll leave his link below. I sent him some stuff. He sent me some stuff. He picked this up, these up from a shop for me. Which I was very uh, thankful for. Uh, we got John Barrett in To the Death. And this is um, the real sequel to... Uh, what was it? Oh, I've forgotten his name already. To, uh, da, uh, yeah, American something that I mentioned before. Not American Ninja, you know what I'm talking about. American Kickboxer, there you go. To the Death is the real American Kickboxer 2. It follows on from that film with John Barrett. Um, that other one, I don't know why they called it American Kickboxer 2. Uh, this was good fun. 
I've got a review pending for this. I just got to write it up. So um, look out for that up here on the blog sometime soon. To the death, good fun. The rest of these I don't think I've seen. Uh, Blood match from the director of Cyborg and Kickboxer. Uh, so that um, that means it's an Albert Pine film, which it is. I wanted to check out uh, Blood Match for ages. There's a DVD in Europe, but it's impossible to get. Not sure if there was any other DVDs. And uh, you found this X rental for me. This is very very happy about. So that's Blood Match. Should be good. Diplomatic Immunity. Don't know anything about it except the cover was cool. And it stars Billy Drago and, let's see if you can zoom in and you'll see it, Matthias Hughes from Kickboxer 2, No Retreat, No Surrender 2, and you know, a bunch of other trashy sci-fi action films. Diplomatic Community. Really good condition, actually. Put out by Hollywood. Oh, this one I have seen. I've got the Japanese tape. Command 5. Um, this is brilliant. Obviously it's trying to rip off um, um, oh man, <laughs> my memory's fading today. Uh, well, anyway, it's um, yeah, it's a it's a good good uh, sort of revenge action team film, I guess, with uh, Wings Hauser and John Matsuzak from uh, The Goonies and a few other awesome action films, actually. Um, a team, that's that's what I'm after. Command Five, it's a ripoff of the A team. Don't know why I couldn't remember that. Uh, yeah, total quality stuff. If you ever see a tape of this, pick it up. It's so much fun. There's a tape in every territory. There's no DVD. Cop Killer. Don't know much about this, except it looked pretty cool. I don't recognise any of the stars in this one. Or the director. But, it was a RCA Columbia in original box, and it's an action film. So, therefore, I will buy it. Thank you very much. And the last one, Angel Town, Olivia Gruner. Um, I have a bootleg DVD that is terrible quality. I bet this tape is better. I think there was a, a US DVD that is deleted and goes for a lot of money now. Um, I don't know what the quality of that was like, but um, very happy that this tape found its way to me. Awesome stuff. Olivia Gruner. Gotta love him. And I've left the best to last. Now, one of the DVDs I left here is the new horror comedy, Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. And I read, left, it, left it to last because I bought its matching VHS. Put out by uh, Cult Movie Mania. It's a fantastic release with, um, you can see it's got the printed damage to it. Obviously there's no actual damage just printed in a lovely lovely clamshell and nice red tape couldn't say no when I saw this coming out bloody bloody Bible camp on VHS with its DVD awesome and lastly the new release from Horror Boobs Video. That's right. The people that brought out um, Mold, <laughs> took me a while, which I also have the tape and DVD of, um, I Spill Your Guts. A recent shot on video horror film. It will be craptacular, I know that. It has a killer metal soundtrack, apparently. Do look forward to checking out how bad this is. I don't expect anything good. Of course, I knew that going in. On a nice yellow tape. And there we go. Spill your guts and bloody, bloody Bible camp. Oh, I've lost my voice. And I need to have lunch. That was a fairly large DVD Blu-ray VHS update. Um, it'll probably be another month until I do another one. Maybe longer, who knows. Um, money has to be fun uh, funneled elsewhere at the moment, so... Not too many things will be coming my way, I don't think. A few new new releases, a Christmas parcel that will eventually come, 
when all the pre-orders are fulfilled and a couple of things here and there a few shout factory pre-orders are uh, definitely going to be coming so but that's it for now hope you all enjoyed see you next time